Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Angela. I'm really happy to present with you some information about a client that I just got off a call with earlier last week, and she was ecstatic, and so was I. And she has gone through the transition into menopause, and she had been feeling sluggish with her moods, her energy, brain fog. She said she gained 30 pounds, and she didn't feel like she'd been doing anything different. In fact, she thought she'd been being more careful with what she was doing with diet and lifestyle, yet she was still having these symptoms. And she was wondering if she needed to use hormone replacement. She didn't really feel that she wanted to do that, but she was wondering if that was the solution for her because she'd heard that all of these symptoms she was having are probably related to having low female sex hormones in that postmenopausal time. And so once we got on a call, instead of just asking her to go to her doctor and get some hormone replacement, because it wasn't really her desired result that she was going for right away anyways, let's do some proper lab testing and understand where her hormones are at and also where the other systems of her body are at in regards to balance with her hormones. And from there, we came up with the decision that she wasn't a great candidate for hormone replacement therapy. She did some hormone testing, she did some blood testing, and she also did a test to look at her gut and her liver health. And we got some really good understanding that her inflammation in her body was quite high. And this was part of the reason she was feeling so sluggish. Her moods were also not that great. And also it was part of the reason she had gained the weight. The inflammation had slowed everything down in her system, including her digestive tract, her motility, you know, just everything was sluggish because of this inflammation. So when you have high inflammation in the body, and it's not uncommon to have this actually as you shift towards and into menopause, there's many different reasons we can have inflammation, but it's very, very common for it to actually become more obvious as you get into that transition into menopause for multiple different reasons. We figured out that she needed to get this inflammation down before she would even be a candidate for hormone replacement therapy. And the reason for this is because if the inflammation in your body is too high, those hormones really aren't going to work that well for you when you bring them in. And sometimes actually they don't work so well to the point that they can be, you know, dangerous. So we have to be mindful of that. Hormone replacement therapy can be very helpful. It can be very good for managing symptoms as you transition into menopause. But there are times where bringing in hormones, if the rest of the body is not in balance, they're really not going to be what you need. And they can come with a whole host of side effects and other things that you potentially you know, really don't want to have happen. So the first step, regardless of if you think you may want to try using hormone replacement therapy or not, is to get your body back into balance, especially in regards to inflammation. So it was really remarkable to see what we did was we put a very specific food plan in place for her based on her lab results we gave her some very specific lifestyle recommendations as well she actually had burnout with her adrenals so not only were her female sex hormones low her adrenals which produce cortisol and some of the other hormones that actually are supportive in the postmenopausal time were also very very low and so we put some strategies in place to help her rebalance her hormones from her adrenal perspective, we gave her a food plan to help her with some of the imbalances that we saw on the rest of her labs in regards to inflammation. And she gained some amazing results. She lost 27 pounds in six weeks. Isn't that amazing? She felt so happy about it. Her energy started to improve. That fog in her brain started to lift. She really started to feel like the best form of herself again. It was just amazing to see. And all of this without using hormone replacement therapy. Now, she still says that she has lower sex drive than she would like. She's hoping that that will improve. It hasn't improved much since we, we've put the plan in place. So there might be a point where she actually is a good candidate for hormone replacement therapy. So we are going to retest all her numbers. We're actually just in the process of it. We're going to look at her inflammation and some of the things that were out of balance on her original test to see how much they've improved. And then from there, we're going to talk about the next steps. So you can see how this can potentially work. The key is really just to get to the root cause of where the imbalances are coming from in the first place. It's not just about hormones. Just because you shifted into menopause and you've had all these symptoms come up, we always equate it to the hormones being the biggest problem. But very, very commonly, there's other areas of the body that are out of balance, and we just haven't actually figured out how to get that balance back in the body. And so we decide that hormones are probably the only way. And again, it can be helpful for some women. It can be actually very helpful for some women, especially once they get the balance back in the systems of their body that really help those hormones work. So if you do want to understand this further about yourself, if you may or may not be a good candidate for hormone replacement therapy, maybe you never will be, or maybe you're just not yet, and you want to talk to someone who can help you understand the root cause of where your symptoms are coming from first and foremost, and develop an individualized strategy to help you get the balance back in your body, not just your hormones, and really really help you start to feel more vibrant, more energetic, more balanced with your mood like my client was, and really just get you back to feeling like you can live your best life, please feel free to reach out to me.
So you can always go to my website, www.angelasimpsonfunctionalmedicine.ca, and there is a place there for you to book a free complimentary consult. And the other thing that you can do is you can, if you haven't already, you can join my Facebook group, Functional Medicine for Hormone Imbalances, and you'll find lots of great information there about how to rebalance your hormones as you get into your 40s, 50s, and beyond. But there's also a link there for you to book a call with me. Again, it's a free complimentary consult for us to chat and understand if it might be a good fit for us to work together to help you divulge the root cause of your hormone imbalance symptoms from the root and really get a system back in place to help you rebalance your body for the long term. So I hope you reach out to me. I hope you'll connect with me if you feel like you're ready to take those next steps. And thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. I really look forward to bringing you continuous information on how you can learn how to rebalance your hormones as they shift and change as you get into your 40s, 50s, and beyond. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Bye. 